What's going on everyone? I'm back with another YouTube video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to make a sports design thumbnail like this. So this is um, a series of thumbnails I make for a YouTube channel and I'm just going to be showing you how to make something like this. Um, this is just my Colts example. Um, but I'll be showing you from scratch how to make this thumbnail for the Jaguars version. So we're going to start off with the two cutouts. I have this one right here of James Robinson and this one of Trevor Lawrence. So um, I'll be showing you how to cut out these the quickest. But we got to start off with what we want for our background. So if you go, um, so usually I'd go to Unsplash, but this time it's um, Jacksonville. So there's not really too many pictures um of jacksonville that i was wanting so, this, so then i would just go over to google um you want to make sure that you have the highest quality images so you'd go to settings advanced search and then once this loads up you click on size larger than four megapixels and then click advanced search so it gives you all the pictures that are higher than four megapixels so this one looks good for what we want for the canvas size. So I'm just going to save this. Jacksonville, Florida, USA. Perfect. And then it saves. And then we're going to open it up. Perfect. Okay, so here we got our image. Then we're going to drag it into our Photoshop document and scale it down to the size that we want. So that looks good. And then we're going to drag it underneath the blue layer. Then you're going to set the blue layer to hard light. And it like covers it up more. And then since you can still see like all the colors because this is a very bright and vibrant image. You're going to want to go to your adjustment layers, black and white, and then it puts it um, more uniform in with it. And then once you're done with that, you're going to go up to filter. I know you can't see it, but it's up here, filter, blur, and then you're going to go radial blur. And then once this pops up, you're going to want to go in to, um, change this setting to zoom and then amount to five. And if you want to be able to edit, edit it, you first would go. So um, to go back um, in Photoshop, you can click Control Z and then it reverses the command. So now we're back to it without a blur. But if you want to be able to edit it, click on filter, convert for smart, smart filters. And then you're going to want to hit OK when this menu comes up. And then go to filter, blur, radio blur again with the same settings. But it would just make sure... You can edit it if you want to change how much blur there is. And then I'm going to add a layer on top of it and have the same blue selected. And then we're going to go over to our brush and just lightly paint around the edges. Gives it more depth to the design. So you can see that it's just a little different. And then we're going to set the opacity down. 25 percent but just as barely anything just corners in the edges a little more and then we're going to go to the cutout so if you're going to time crunch and you're wanting to get it done really quick you can go up to uh, select subject and that really does a good job most of the times and then once it's done selecting you're going to go to your lasso tool so say if the you're you totally forgot that you had to make this thumbnail and they needed it in 30 minutes and you had to do other things so you do this instead and then it just quickly um selects a player but if you don't um aren't in a time crunch you're gonna go want to go with your pen tool and then click around the edges one by one and then once you're done you'd right click and then it's um there's no selection but you click make selection and then hit OK. Um, but we're not going to need to do that. So I'm just going to, for the sake of 
this video because I don't want it to get too long. I'm gonna use my lasso tool. So as you can see it did a pretty good job. There's just minor things you need to touch up. Like the helmet, usually it does something funky on it. And the hair, I'll show you how to do the hair as well. So here also in the helmet. And while you're at it, watching me mask out um, the rest of his helmet, why don't you go down and click the subscribe button and give this video a like if you already haven't. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Um, usually, most of the time, if you have a high quality image, it masks it out pretty nicely. So you can see that it's fully masked out, and then... Um, you can see there's still greens in the hair, so you want to go up to select again, select and mask. And then you're going to, so this is the refine edge tool, so it just kind of softens up the hair. And then we will just do that a little bit. My computer is quite slow, so it's going to take a little bit of time to... Fully load. There we go. Perfect. That looks pretty good to me. And this section will probably get cut off. Most likely anyways. And then we're going to drag him into our document. And he's quite large. So scale him down again. You want to put it as far as you can to the... Um, Right side, so you have main um, some more area for text because the text is the highlight point and how you get people to watch or um, click on your videos. So um, when you're picking photos, you want to pick two photos, especially for this type of thumbnail where he's looking. Um, Trevor Lawrence is looking this way, and your other subject, James Robinson, in this case, would be looking the other way. Because if they're facing the same way, then that will be harder to see and then i'm just going to mask out this one off recording and i'll come back once i'm done okay now i have my james robinson player masked out but you're gonna want to make sure that they're the same size so you can see how the trevor lawrence cutout is way bigger than the james robinson cutout so you just want to make sure they're around the right um the same size and they're looking both um in opposite directions and then you're gonna go back up to filter um convert it to a smart filter or a smart object again and then go back up to filter and camera raw filter i showed you this in my cc video and almost all of my other videos but this is just how you enhance the design even more so when i open up camera raw filter i have a a preset that's created um so if you Say you just want to put the same uh, settings on each one, so you just make um, your adjustments. I just this is just a for example, just two adjustments, and then you're going to go to save settings, and then you keep all of these the same, and you click save, and then save it on your computer as something you would know and where you would know it is. So I already have one. Um, save to my computer. I just called it basic because it's the basic settings that I use. So see how it um, just does barely anything. Vibrance is up, texture, clarity, and then I usually go in because this is different for each image. Um, the blacks, whites, shadows, and highlights. You can see the original and then with camera. So it just changes it a little bit, makes the the thumbnail will look a little more appealing to the eye. There's that one, and then I'll do the same exact thing for James Robinson. Alright, now that I have my James Robinson and Trevor Lawrence uh, cutouts all ready, I am going to add in the Jaguars logo in the background. So you want to make sure it's both under both your James Robinson or whatever player you're doing, and um, both players, so 
underneath it but above your blue layer and then you're going to increase it to the size that you want and then usually i set it to the blend mode that would look the best so you just got to kind of go through and see which ones kind of take out um certain colors so for this one um i would probably um either go f uh so darker color i i like that um quite a bit but you can see that there is still um parts of the the brown tan color the goldish color still there so um that's not really going to work it would take a little more time to figure out so i would probably just put it on hue or saturation or actually i'll put it on color because it kind of just like blends into the background more or actually because you need the text to be a different color so you can just it's a, just a subtle addition but the text is going to be gold so you don't also want the gold to look like that as well so now i'm going to add the text on top i will just drag in a reference smart object of the text so here's the giants reference that i did just got to put it in the middle and make sure everything matches up so the font i use for this is called akira expanded it's a very popular font in sports design and any design and you can find it on defont um if you don't know how to get fonts into designs i can or get fonts downloaded onto your computer you can either watch my tiktok or put it in the comments and i may do a video of it speaking of putting stuff in the comments um if you have any requests for new videos Make sure to drop that in the comments right now and I will get back to you and try to do the video in the new future. So this is the Jaguars video. So Jaguars. Perfect. And then you want to scale it up to the right size. That's a good size. And then for the color, we're going to want to use this gold color. Perfect. And I may have to change the color of the font depending on how good it will look. So then you want to go into off season or type out off season. And then once you have that all typed out, make the text smaller again and make it match up because you want to make all your thumbnails look relatively the same with all your fonts that's why i have a template set up but i'm just showing you step by step how i made the template okay once you got that done last one is moves or you type out whatever you want for what your video series is going to be called or whatever the video has to pertain to this is just an example perfect now you can hide your reference and then that will go away you can see it doesn't really um it very much blends in with the background so i'm gonna convert all of these to a smart object so they're just one entity and then add a drop shadow onto them so it pops out of the background more um here are the settings i use it doesn't really matter that much you just want it to pop out of the background more and i think actually i will make the moves text instead i will make it white okay now i have it white so i'm gonna x out of it and click yes so it saves it and there we go there now it is easier to read and you have your jaguars logo in the back and then just to pull out the reds and kind of like pull the design more in i um in together i'm gonna add a color lookup on top um three strip is usually the one i go to but as you can see it doesn't look the best on this so i'm um i'm just gonna add it to each cutout 
So add it to the both of your subjects, and then it kind of just brings out the reds more. But I'm going to lower the opacity down to somewhere around 40-ish. So now we have it more looking like this Colts one. It looks very similar, as you can see. And then to do one final last touch, you're going to click Control alt shift and E on your keyboard, and that just groups your whole image. And then go to Filter, Convert for Smart, smart Filters again, or it makes it a smart object. And then you're going to go back to... Um, you're going to add a mask to it and can click control i and that just turns the layer off and you then i usually set it to linear dodge add it brightens up the whole thing and then take your brush set to white and then it will paint back in and then make sure it's a soft brush so it just paints back in a little more brightness at the top and then I usually go for the bottom as well and then sometimes a little bit of the sides so it just makes you focus more on the center of the design and then set it down to around 60 percent so I hope this helped you um, on how to create sports thumbnails this is just one of the thumbnails that I make for them so I can show off how I made some of their other videos. Make sure to go check out their YouTube channel at The Sports Scoop on YouTube and um, tell me and come back and tell me what type of thumbnail and templates or anything else YouTube related you want to see or doesn't even have to be YouTube. It can be whatever else you want to see on this channel. Um, I got more things planned for the future. Again, weekly videos whenever I have time. And I hope you have a good rest of your week and we will see you again next week.